Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Come here. Don't call Linnea Latanzio a crazy cat lady. If I didn't have to deal with all the humans and, and the drama in life, I would be just perfectly content just taking care of cats. It started 24 years ago with the newly retired woman fostering a few kittens in her 4,000 square foot country home. But it quickly grew once she found out many area animal shelters euthanized cats who aren't adopted. She took in more feral and abandoned cats, eventually turning her home into the Cat House on the Kings, believed to be the largest no-cage sanctuary and adoption center of its kind in the country. It just kept growing. Uh, I figured as long as I could take care of them and I had room, then I was doing a good thing. When every nook and cranny filled with cats, Latanzio realized there was no longer room for her. So she moved into a trailer next door. That used to be the dining room. This was the formal living room. At times, the house and surrounding 12-acre property is home to up to 1,000 cats. Yeah, we got a couple. Latanzio spent her entire retirement savings on her pet project, which also relies on donations. She now has staff and a team of volunteers to make sure the house stays clean and the cats well fed, dishing out 1,000 cans of cat food every week. <coughs> on staff vets keep cats healthy, vaccinated, and spayed or neutered. Cat doors allow the felines free access outside whenever they want. A cat-proof fence around the 12-acre property keeps potential predators out. They've got this house. They've got, you know, they've got 12 acres. They can climb a tree. They can go sit in the sun outside. It, it just gives these animals a reason to live as opposed to living in a cage just because no one wants them. Over the years, the cat house has saved an estimated 25,000 cats and counting. On adoption days, visitors are allowed to spend time with the cats in the hopes of finding the felines' new homes. But be warned, sit down here and you will get swarmed. <laughs> Haven Daily, Associated Press, Parlier, California.